Oh. All right, gang. Time to dive into this juicy matchup between ATK and Timberman. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Timberman trying to get some things started, and they are going towards a ramp. Expect this to be a trend. ATK clearly do, because there's four players here ready to receive them. Swisher coming in. There's the first kill already. Swisher not getting so much, though. Zulis drop immediately, but there are three players here. Four, actually. Everybody here to receive. Missed him. Looks like he's ready for a fight. Aggression coming through from ATK. They just want this trouble. They want this action, boss. And they're all about it. One after another. The bodies are dropped. It's left to snap. So many targets to find. Some vulnerable, but needing a reload. Snap will not be able to get away. And that is going to be a decisive pistol round for ATK. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any rust for ATK there. Uh, everything on point as that uh, A-ramp take was attempted by the Timberman. And ATK take the one to nothing lead and the only thing that might be in favor of timberman here on vertigo is that atk doesn't play it very much i think they played it once over their last four bo3s yeah and that was against egpa uh lost that one 11 to 16 but that's against egpa so i mean yeah. they're pretty good on vertigo Yeah, I'm just really there. interested to watch the yep. posturing here early on, right? Because, I mean, mm -hmm. in that pistol round, at least you see the four players towards A immediately. They're super prepared for it to be the ramp take. But from what we saw of the Timberman before, it's going to be a lot of ramp takes. There's going to be a ton of ramp takes. It's kind of what they do on this map. Smoke and a Molotov going to back them off of ramp, at least for the moment. It's Swisher who's playing deep down there. He's got missed him just behind. These are unarmored Glocks, so frankly... Swisher should feast. Yeah, Swisher gets the information. Flashbang for the next. Get on this. They're not going after this yet. And that's actually great damage. Missed him drop. John, this is getting a little risky. Yeah, a little bit. Intra, finding the opener. It's just Glocks on the other end. No armor. But if Swisher goes down, it could be problematic. I don't think he will. He's got support here from Bowden. And Timberman are trying to take their time, jumping up and down, P250 in hand for Snap. They still haven't made their way up the ramp, and time is going to tick away here. Bowden farms the SMG frag money there with the one onto Intra. Swisher gets destroyed, and well, at least Snap manages to get one here. Could it be more? No. Bowden shuts him down immediately, and then Dare gets sprayed out by Beatty. So that will be that. Two to nothing for ATK. Not too fussed. A little scary, Mike, but it's okay. A little more expensive than you were probably hoping for if you're ATK yeah, as well, yeah. right? So now the guns are going to come out. No bomb plants, but it's a pretty decent buy. Good utility, solid utility rifles across the board. And meanwhile, this is interesting. ATK actually had some spare capital. Bowden, you see, is sporting 4,500, but Mistim invests back into the MP9 instead of, I mean, frankly, they could have dropped an off over and, and gotten started with the offing already. But they'll stick with it. Maybe a little of that bonus round mentality, perhaps. But I'm curious to see what the MP9 is going to do to compensate for it. Where are they playing Missed him? He's in the scaffolding. Bowden's here towards A as well. Rifles playing elsewhere. Fady. Going to be a key piece as we're already seeing a mid lurk come out here. Snap throwing that smoke on him. This could draw focus. This could draw attention. Bowden wants to check it at the very least. The Timbermen are not committed to anything just yet, and with two players going down the ladder, I have the sinking feeling it's going to end up at A ramp again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of feels that way, doesn't it? Oh, and indeed, on, guys. they keep going. Yeah, honestly, it's a third round in a row, the same kind of trend that we saw in the previous BO3 that they were on. Previous two, in fact. Maltov's going to get tossed down there by Swisher, and he's got a good setup. Missing, missing backs off. Swisher could be vulnerable here, but no. He gets the first one, backs off immediately. And then a 23 HP left to him. Missed him. Waiting at the top of ramp. Going to peek around off of a flashbang. Doesn't see anything, but Swisher is oh, there as well to take care of Shane. Yeah, a little bit, and he does get the frag onto Intra. Timberman just aren't able to do anything so far up this ramp. Not much. Nearly got the MVP player, but then Bowden can strike. That's the triple boost up, and that's going to be a very comfortable round. Time to go shopping that's... for the MP9s. Bowden's not quite quick enough. But hey, that's a great round for APK. That stabilizes the economy. Keep four alive. Keep the guns up here. Send Timberman back into an eco. And again, through these first three rounds, no bomb plants, John. 
Hey, hey, that's a very tough pill to swallow. Not to mention, that was the bonus round for ADK. With all those MP9s in play, they got some upgrades. Obviously, Bowden fell a little short and wasn't able to get to the rifle in time. But still, I mean, you're only going up against pistols this time, so you shouldn't be too fussed. It is Ford Eagles, though. Those can dull out the damage, so you need to be a little cautious if you're ATK. I just want to see him on another side. Uh, me too, obviously. It's, I, I know in chat you're probably saying it's way too early. Why are we talking about this? We're three rounds in. But here's the thing. This is their third critical game so far of Challenger League. And we've seen this trend in all of those Vertigo games. Ah, presence in middle. Aha! <laughs> That's just pistols on the side. But hey, there's presence in middle at the very least. Black is going to come on out. This damage done from Bowden. He's got reinforced. Oh, okay. oh, no. I was going to say he has reinforcements in the uh, counter -terror of, of, of Fady. But Fady did get erased. Still, his rifle can be retrieved. It's only the SMG that's lost. And that's a uh, great round for ATK. Yeah, another one. <laughs> I mean, look, it was just the pistols they were up against. The droid not helping his own cause uh, with the TK. Unintentional, of course, because he was just lining up a shot and his teammate walked, walked into his crosshair as soon as he left click. So it happens, but just not trending well in the early goings here for Timberman. At least they tried something different, though. Went towards mid, but it did not yield much of anything. And here we go back to their bread and butter towards the A ramp. Couple of players. In fact, droid is going to try pushing in towards elevators. So that could yield something. A Timmerman using up a lot of utility towards the ramp. Still got plenty. Still got plenty for some execs. Me jungled elsewhere. Here comes the mid push. This is a new look. Trying to apply pressure yes. in towards mid. It's going to be up to Fady. Find a crack in those spools of insulation. Could be a tough time for him to defend, and indeed he gets deleted. Fady having a tough time there in towards mid. That'll drop Bowden over. An advantage for Timberman. For the first time so far this map. And this utility deep is going to continue to section off players. It makes it very tough for anyone to come in and help out MOTM. MOTM will get one at least. Looking to do damage before they overwhelm. But there's the overwhelm. Trades are even so far, which means advantage. Still in favor of the Timberman. And this retake is both coming up the steps. Droid looking for the fight. Looking for the rumble. He's got both. Three kills for Droid in this one, and that will be Timberman on the board. There you go. Nice different look coming through from the Timberman. Snav had opening contact onto Fady, and he did not miss a beat. Nice peek and shot from the AK. And afterwards, ATK were holding their own. I want you to manage to get one, but the trades were so solid from the Timberman that there was no foothold um, left on that B site. And after the last two players tried to come up the ramp, Droid with some nice spray control takes care of business. So now the Timbermen looking to make it two in a row, but let's not forget ATK didn't really have a full buy up yet. There was a Hamas still in the mix there, and I don't think Bowden was rocking the op no. just yet. So no, we'll see the, uh, how Timbermen fare here. First investment to the AWP, it's the new look. They showed the op initially over towards B steps just to remind the Timbermen that they can't get that for free. Bowden's going hunting. Be dangerous grounds in towards mid. Setting up Swisher for a little peeky poo. He spotted the information, but the Molotov coat's going to come back. Hurry of reinforcements is going to come back in. Swisher's now got what he was looking for, and he's backed off. Do they realize Mistum was throwing all of those flashes from cement? They have some Molotovs, but if they try and take this without clearing Mistum, I think they're going to be in for a world of hurt. And if Swisher Will just kills everybody matter. before yeah. they get there, that will also be okay. Yeah, ATK's A-hold is really solid right now, and I'm surprised to see the Timbermen go back to it because you think they would want to abuse mid and maybe try to work B once more, which they are now. They have a couple of players headed there, Darren Shane. Looking for MOTM, and MOTM peeks around the corner, takes down Darren, and then finds the last on to Shane. Oh, what a round there by ATK. Not a single casualty, 5-1, to one, and they isolate the round victory on the Timbermen's side. Very comfortable there for MOTM as the B anchor. It's a tough position to play, but it does a great job of it. Early results very favorable for ATK, obviously being up 5-1. But you've also got two players who've only died once in MOTM and Bowden Master. That's always nice to see. They both got at least a kill per round. 
Yeah. Pretty solid. Temperman. Gonna try and work mid again. This seems to be the new look. This is the changeup. It's not just a ramp. It's a ramp and mid plays. And this looks like they're gonna get contact with the AWP. There's the first shot. That's Fady. Bowden Master following it up. And the cleanup. Not only is the Jeez. bomb dropped, three players are done, and they haven't even done a bullet of damage back the other way. So this round is in the gutter for the Timberman right off the rip. It's just Shane limping along solo. Maybe he has an OPM, but that's not even going to happen. Not a bullet of damage on ATK as they claim round number six, and they are just continuing this thorough drubbing of the Timberman. They are on cruise control right now, six to one in their favor. And you know, for ATK at the beginning of last season, it wasn't all rosy, right? They lost three of their first four matches. And I think what was happening is Swisher was adjusting to be on the roster. And eventually once he found his rhythm, everything clicked into place. They won three in a row to cap off the season, securing their playoff spot. And then, well, the rest is history. We know what happened in the playoffs. They made it to the grand finals and we're close to defeating Payne on a couple of maps, but they just could not pull it off. So, with Payne not a, in the mix this season, maybe they'll have a chance of taking it all. And this is going to get one onto Dare. We've lost Swisher, though. Did he disconnect oh. or did he fall off the building? He fell off the building. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't know what he's trying to do there. Might still be okay, Snav. Through the air. Makes this interesting. The bomb is down as well. This could be really bad. Molotovs and flashes could help clear things up, but Shane wants the fight. Shane wants the fight. He's coming towards it. And this could be the cleanup. They know they're here. Mistim goes to the sidearm. He's not got it. <laughs> oh, what could have been? One more player would have made all the difference, folks. Remember, watch yourself around the heights. But the Timberman will be thanking that lucky star since they've got another on the board. Oh, man. Swisher. Tried to make the. I think he was trying to make the jump around A. Maybe I'm not entirely sure. I didn't see it, but he was. His X was off the corner of the A ring. Yeah. Based on positioning, I don't know how well those represent, but uh, eh, that you know. would be weird though. What? Oh man, <laughs> just a misstep, I guess. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see if uh, ATK can find their footing. Practice some good workplace safety, and Bowden Master will make that a lot easier. Finding his twelfth kill. We're in round nine. Twelve kill. <laughs> He's good. He's good. They're all crispy. Swisher. Swisher. Ooh, deleted. Nice peek from Snav. Just popping up onto the lip and hitting one straight in the chin. Oh, that's a great way to put up the numbers here. Give him a real chance to be competitive. At least for now, he's the only player they've seen here towards ramp, so they can't over-rotate, they can't over-react, but they've got some pretty good positioning towards mid. That gives them the info. Good Molotov clears out. Fady forces him into the AWP of Dare. Keeps these numbers even once more. Oh, being called on again and again and again to deliver for this team, but now the rotation should be joining, and look at the flank. Mistim's working. They stall out. This could get bad. Yeah. I think oh, they tried for the boost over the smoke. Not really seeing anything just yet, but Bowden catches off there. Smoke fade favors him. They know someone's right on site. And here's that flank he talked about. Mike missed him. He's starting to make it a reality here. Coming up, he's going to have a free one. There's no question. Shane should be dead to rights, and he is. It ends up being the most important frag in the round, too, because it was a 1v1 after all those trades came through, and missed him, secures it 7-2. to two. It's cool, calm, and collected play on that flank. Pays off for ATK. I will say, maybe a little over an eagerness for the fights in front for ATK. If you can wait for the flank, I mean, keeping yeah. more bodies alive there would be critical. They have the economy to soak it right now, but instead of that being a pretty commanding situation, it's going to drain their bank quite a bit. I mean, you can see Swisher's depleted, MOTM and missed him, saving a little bit, Fady with some pennies. Bowden has some, some cash to spare, which will help him get towards that AWP. But this is now a critical swing round. If Timberman can break them here, they get a chance to actually make something with this T-side snap. Going aggressive. Challenge just a little bit, but this is a much faster paced play that we've been used to seeing for the Timberman. Let's see if it catches ATK off guard. Intra are working their way towards side hall, and I think 
gets down, decided he was just going to spam through the smoke, and now he's going to wait for it to fade before he goes up. But there's another one right behind it. So. Fadey's on the flank, but Again. Droid's watching it. Timing going to be everything. Fadey clearing all the way back. He's being very careful with it. Now comes the swing back in off of the back of the utility. Very nicely done, Dare. Big shot, but still an advantage for ATK. Dare with another. Dare with another. And at this point, Fadey seems to have seen something that coaxed him back. Off of this rotation. How much he has in a tough spot here? They not expect this position indeed. They don't. Oh, utility caught in hand. MLTM goes to the sidearm. He's fake flashing with a light. What is even happening here? I don't know what that was. A 1v1. Droid still needing to plant. Fady. Patient with it. Plenty to crack in the smoke. Waiting for Droid to come to him. Oh, the HE's got it. That's it. Yep. No! Oh, no, it doesn't miss, bounce miss. past! It doesn't bounce past, but the bullets will! He didn't line it up properly, I think. That one should have landed on site. Instead, it bounced off site boxes and went back towards the ledge. So, all right. Nade didn't do it. The bullets did, though. So, all good for ATK. They get a second in a row, and they've already taken this half scoreline of 8-2. to two. Everything looking great for them. On the Timberman side, well, I think they're calling a timeout here to talk things over because, I mean, they can buy up AKs. Utility might be a little bit lighter if they choose to go down that route, or they can just go for the half buy and hope that they can get some success off of that. Might be better to go for the half buy and just try and get uh, the follow-up around with the AKs and proper utility, but they need rounds, and they need a convincing round. That they do. But if they get one, what could be? What could be? Money for the Deegs if they're going to do it here? Honestly, money for the buy if they're going to do it. Text 9 seem to be the answers. One rifle there for Snav. Hero gun. I don't mind it. I don't mind the investment. Obviously, you've got the max off laws bonus. Um, so there's a lot to work with. Sure. Oh. Could be getting caught with utility. He's going to get that kill, but missed him was lost. That's not a great exchange for the Timberman. Or, sorry, it's a great exchange for the Timberman. Not so good for ATK. A rifle for a pistol and damage onto Swisher, which will soften him up for the other pistols here. There's definitely some things to be concerned about early here. If you're ATK. Yeah. Pistol's going to come up here with intro with the Tech 90 catches off Swisher. All right, there's a rifle upgrade as well coming in for intra. That means that you got two rifles for Timberman. I think they're trying to hunt down the other one. They don't have it just yet. Fady waiting behind Cement. Look at the positioning. They've got on no a one flank here, Mike. And look who's watching up the steps. Yeah, Bowden has worked his way through mid, but, but they've got the B site. This bomb's going to start rotating, so if Bowden can catch it. Oh, this could be tricky. The positioning is going to be everything. Yeah. They won't expect this. Bowden Master, does he have the timing? He'll hear the footsteps. Now he knows. Oh, my goodness. Bowden. Bowden Master has it all in his hand. What's he going to be able to pull off here? Spot two. Oh, Intra turns around at the wrong moment. They realize, though, it's a panic. They're surrounded. They need to get this bomb down. Big kill for Droid. Big kill for Droid. Keeps it very doable. Need a hero play. There's one for Fady. A second, and it's cleaned up. <laughs> a bomb plant, at least for Timberman. Frankly, a lot of impact hey. considering they had the one rifle and pistols. Problem is, it's just the, the score line is rough, John. It is. It is very rough. The two Timberman's credit, right? They haven't really give, given ATK a lot of really clean rounds. There were a couple or at the beginning, but they've been fighting through and making it difficult for ATK to get their economy settled down. And again, you're, you're looking at the money they have left out of this one. Bowden's the highest at 1950 with a 9 to 2 scoreline. It's not too great. So credit to the Timberman in that regard, but still. You need rounds. Let's see if they can get something done here and finally close one out. Four AKs and the AWP going to be coming through. Swisher tossing the nade on forward. And now he's going to take that position with the MP9 right next to scaffolding. Flashbang thrown for him so he can peek out aggressively. And he's not going to see anything, so he falls back. He's going to take a more passive position now. Tosses the flash on over. In fact, drops his flash so they can flash again. And he can get another peek, perhaps. But uh, Mistum's going to wait a little bit longer before committing to that. 
Here we go now. So we should charge up in just a moment. He does, and he can't connect on any of his shots. In fact, he gets ventilated by Intra's AK. 5v4 in favor of ATK. And excuse me, in favor of Timberman. This is one of those situations as well where now the remaining positions for ATK are rough. I missed him. Sticking towards cement when you have no support is always tricky, especially when he doesn't have a smoke. When Molotov comes in, he's dead. Guaranteed. Yep. So this is a really tough spot to play. Now you'll see Mistim shift off of it. That's a good call. Reasonable maneuver. Bowden getting aggressive on the side hall with the AWP. This is another tricky one. Could be a bit of a one and done. You'll often see players play a little bit further back. He wants the initial shot. There he's got it. And the spacing was good for him. In that Timberman had no ability to chase for the trade. That's a big pick to find. AWP can now shift back. Utility's coming in for the Timberman. They want this AK. And they're dumping all their nades to get to it. They're going to have very little for the post. They need to get this bomb down while the curtain smoke is still up. And that might happen. Shane, is he burning? He is now. Got to get away. Survives. So it's a full four on four. Right Not a lot of smoke on either side. Smoke and a couple flashes here for the Timbermen, but it's going to have to be the guns to do the most of the work. Mistim's coming looking for this initial clear. Shane, you missed him. He's going to have a good flashbang. Better clear. Missed him has dealt with the side hallway. Meanwhile, they're diffusing right under their nose. They oh. don't know. They realize in time the smoke fades, but they've still got enough time. It should be fine here. And ATK find double digits. They're almost saving the day there. He does stop the initial defusal, but afterwards it's just Bowden taking care of business with the off. I think he had three in that round. ADR sitting at 159. He's got 19 frags in 12 rounds. Going to hit a 20 bomb more than likely before this half has concluded. And I mean, ATK into double digits off of that. 10 to 2, a commanding lead here on their CT side. And I mean, look, Timberman, credit to them. Their utility is good here, and it, it's been a great execute onto A. It's just, it feels a little too cookie cutter and we talked about their bomb plant position as well it's continuing to be planted right in the middle of the boxes instead of towards the side which is where the meta has shifted now so i don't know when they're going to make that adjustment if they're going to but yeah one of the things i'm also a little surprised from from atk is with the consistency that timberman have planted in the exact same spot around and around, and around if you just hold your hgs kill anyone who does that pretty much guaranteed mm -hmm. Swisher's got to be careful on the smoke fade. They also likely want to be careful about Bowden. Again, for similar reasons to what we talked about uh, last round. We missed him. You get caught there. Once they know you're here, that happens. So Bowden, <laughs> yep. down for the count. Dealt with off of the utility. Very nicely done from the Timberman. Now the chase is on. Can you get one of these two? No, he decidedly cannot. There is a flank on from MOTM, but it's a little bit late. So in the meantime, Fady does a lot and that's perfect Fady with two kills uh, some of these rounds are getting a little close some of these rounds are getting a little hairy but they're all coming up ATK yeah it seems like whoever's left standing delivers the killing blows without much of a fuss it has been Bowden a lot but everyone else is playing well here for ATK all of them above a KDR of one except for Swisher but that's only because he fell off the cliff so or fell off the building I should say all right so, that's less so must for ATK. Looking to get a 12th now. Timurin with the full loss. Wanos do get AKs across the board, but Bowden delivers the first frag on to Dare. Fady gets snapped. Shane does manage to get a response, and oh, Bowden gets caught out there. He almost goes down, and in fact, Intra's going to find Swisher. Then Bowden does get dropped by happening? Droid. It's getting dicey, Mike. A little sloppy from ATK. Well, uh, would have been interesting to know what happened there towards the B steps, but instead, we'll deal with Fady here now behind the cooling tower. Fady's got one. Two more. It's all on the droid. Try and keep the Timberman in this, and he cannot make it happen. So we are now at the last round of the half, and it's best case scenario for the Timberman if they find three. Yeah. <laughs> it is what we talked good. about in the pregame, man. Their T yeah. side stinks on this map. Yep. And I don't get why they pick it. It's very strange. At least they're trying more stuff this time. We've seen yes. the B plays. We've seen the mid plays. They just don't look comfortable or thrilled with anything but an A take, really. Everything else is kind of, well, let's see if we can get a pick. And then they act off of it. 
Yeah, it also feels like after their utility is thrown, they don't feel comfortable with any of their post plant positioning, so it's really strange. Either way, Shane is going to go down here in the opening moments. They tried to go up the B stairs, so a bit of a change up coming through from the Timbermen. But they've already lost the tip of the spear. Dare, I want to try peeking around here. In fact, he's spamming danger panel. Flash going to be thrown in just a moment, but uh, yeah, so far, Timbermen are biding their time. And ATK, they're just going to wait for Timberman to come into their crosshairs. Why not? Got a man advantage. Should be comfortable for it. Push with the check towards side. Hall. Oh, extended here a couple of times, and it's oh. missed him instead who gets caught out. That nade, good. Takes Intra out of play. No problem there. For sure, got to be careful. Gets his bell wrong. Perhaps a little bit over aggressive in that situation. Does get caught out. He comes back to bite them. It's going to come back to bite them wow. all onto MOTM. Two players drop in unison. And now the man of the match himself has to try and deliver this round. Bomb is planted. It's ticking away for the Timberman. They've had some of these situations get away from them in the past, but in three on one situation, comfortable post plant positioning, all the spots in the world. Oh, Snav looks away at a critical moment, a critical juncture, but now they know. They're giving him 1v1s, though. They're isolating. They're trying to wrap for the flank, but MOTM looking for the bomb will get caught by Droid. And at the very least, the Timbermen get three. Twelve to three is a pretty dire situation, but hey, at least it's better than the scoreline Timberman had against Squirtle Squad. That was twelve to two at the half. Uh, Thirteen to two, Mike. Thirteen to two. That's how math works. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it was twelve to two before it was 13 two at the half. Ha! That is gotcha. True. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. 
<laughs> to play up the B steps, this seems to have been read as well, Timberman. Uh, this is a good demonstration of why it's important to mix up your pistols sometimes, you guys. Because very clearly, teams are pretty prepared for each other's team side pistol, and Shane is yeah. prepared to snatch a couple of kills. Yeah, they're, they're just straight up anti striding here, Mike. ATK cannot really do anything. Swisher and Boat in the last two standing. Shane and Inter have taken a lot of damage, but how much does that really matter at this point? The bomb is going to rotate around. Swisher staying behind. He'll peek around eventually, and he gets deleted by Snap. And I think Bowden's coming back. He's having a peek. I mean, but there's only so much you can do here, Mike. <laughs> Nigh impossible task of a 1v5 with only his Glock out. I believe in the Bowden Master. Two players are low. Look, he just has to shoot them in the toes. Hedge on everybody else. I think it's doable. Right. I think it's less doable now. <laughs> yeah. I think it's done. Yeah. It's not the master of this uh, boat. No. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, Timberman only five rounds over the last two times they've picked into Vertigo on their T side. Oof. It's just a, it's a rough stat to look at. But... Their CG side's much better. It didn't really yield them that much up against the Squirtle squad, squad since they lost 6-3, and three, as mentioned. But here, at least they get the pistol round. And ATK don't find the bomb plant, which means no force by is going to come through here. Mike, as Fady runs right through that incendiary, he's trying to catch Droid off guard. It's not going to work. Droid, go! Oh, goes down to miss them, though. Good trade. MP9 upgrade comes through. And Droid, or excuse me, Dare, is going to take down Miss them. Then OTM, Bowden, and Snap finds for sure. So it was exciting for a moment until Dare came through and got a 3k. Yeah, less exciting, but very good for the Timberman to actually be able to make a run of this one. Gun's going to come out. It's very reminiscent of the first half. Let's see what ATK want to do on their T side. Because uh, to be fair, again, for the Timberman, what we've seen in the previous matchups is they do have a solid defense. It's just a matter yes. of getting enough rounds to let us see it. So if ATK could take the first gun round here, they would go a long way to actually just being able to close out this map. Big ass. Especially if they're overlooking Droid. He gets checked, but does take one. A one and done. Draws a lot of focus in towards mid. Look at this. Drawn two straight in. If they wanted to hit either side, they are soft right now. Soft and squishy. Yeah, B is only one player there, Mike. Just Shane. On the B bomb site, Bowden. I mean, ATK doesn't have to commit either to, to say he hit at all. No, Bowden's just looking for a peek, looking for someone to give yeah. him a fight. And to be fair, Snav has ah, here. That did a suspiciously small amount of damage. <laughs> Must have hit every pixel of those scaffolds. Ah, it's too uh, long. You can't stick around that long. That's an offer trying to rifle, man. It's not a one-shot kill. Can't stay there forever. That's a big kill for Mistim, but Great immediately trade. going to the utility. He's going to be traded. Getting ahead of himself there. Still, they do know that the B player's been pulled off, so they're going to try and get forward on towards the site, and in fairness, they do. Bomb plant looking viable here. Multi-M planting a bit open. That could be tricky. Now they've got the ball down. That be all right. Need to kill, though, and that they don't have. Well done from Intra. I don't know what Dare is doing. What is Dare doing? Yeah. His mouse, his mouse break? Yeah, I, it looks like his mouse broke or maybe the batteries died. I'm not sure. He's just strafing back and forward. Are you going to pause here? I, I would think so, yes. Because something we clearly went wrong. Well, fortunate for the Timberman, they didn't drop the round as a result, because clearly yeah. if Intra went down, I don't know that Dare was going to be able to do much about it. No. Let's see if we got an update on what this is about. I mean, had to be a mouse malfunction. Something. I see a timeout call, but I don't see any explanation. Technical pause coming through. It doesn't seem like it's too long here, but I guess we'll find out, folks, live. So, we should be all right. Still, it's a great start for the Temperament. 
racking up three rounds right off the rip denying atk that first gun round as well mm -hmm. a bomb plant on the last one means that there will be able to be a bit of investment here though it's actually not bad considering pistols look at the util it's pretty solid uh, but, uh, John, uh, we do need to see a little more from ATK on this T side. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I like their entry on to B, given they didn't have the numbers going to a 2v3. They found the opener and then got the bomb planted, but post-plant was a, a little bit rough, right? Because they tried to peek mm -hmm. around, couldn't take the fight with intro, couldn't even get the trade. So, yeah, a little uninspiring so far, but let's be fair to them. That was their first rifle buy-up, and everything else has been either eco or pistols, so... Let's see if they can do a little bit more here. Will be another half buy. They could have opted to invest a little heavier into this round because they got the bomb plant, but they chose for the half buy, a little more conservative. Four tech nines and Bowden is going to stick with the Glock more than likely so that he can bring out the op in the next round. We'll see how it pans out for them. I mean, Vertigo is great for quick hits, right? So maybe they'll try it for a quick pop. Yeah. Can be a tricky map to make the op work, but clearly a point of emphasis to some degree. We have had uh, a rejoin here. I think Droid left and is now back in, so we should be good to go. Uh, in case you're wondering, Amiya is Droid. Not really sure which name we're supposed to be using here, but uh, I'll stick with the name that I know. Yes. We'll let that go. Initial presence under the B steps. They found some purchase here before. They got the util to actually get on. Are they going to commit to it this time around? Yeah, they're going. Eighty showing presence in towards mid to hold players there. This is bomb plant. They've already got the kill. They're looking for more, but they've got the space to get the plant at the very least, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Bowden even picking up the rifle now. That's big gun found. And it's a troubled spot for Timberman to find themselves missed him, in. Missed him, missed him. On the flank, this could be huge. He spots two. He's got the lineup. He's got a third as well. Ooh, Just can't let this go too long. And he did exactly that. Still one and a ton of damage onto Intra. See if they can see it through. See if they can zero this in. Any more utility not available. Fady will hit the one. The player is so very low. It's down to just a 1v1. But Snap has got it. Does he have time? Yes. Oh, missed him. <laughs> he should have started firing as soon as he saw the two players stacked up together. That would have been the best opportunity because they're off balance. They're going for the boost, but he waits a little bit too long, and that's what cost him the 2K. So, Timberman take the round. ATK make it interesting on their half five, but it could have been way more than that. Bomb plan also helps their economy. 12 to 7, the score line. They will be on their second full on buy up, this time featuring the big green in Bowden's hands. As you mentioned, a little more difficult to make it work on a map like Vertigo T side, but he's feeling confident. He's a solid opera, certainly one of the best here in Challenger League. We'll see if he can make that op sing, and Mike, he does. Connects on to Dare, and that's the offer, the primary offer at least, down for the Timberman. Snap's going to grab that immediately. Swishers up behind the danger panel as well. Shane is in for a tough spot here. Does have Droid to support in towards mid, but Droid's relatively committed to this fight. So this next pick on Shane, if he loses it without <clears throat> finding any damage, could put them in a rather unwinnable situation. Still gonna come in in a big way. Shane is burning, needs to swing. Can't get away from it. He's burnt to a cinder. And now it's major pressure on for Droid. He's got reinforcements coming in, but they're both dropped. Snap will just need to save this. Just need to try and find a spot to hide his ATK. Find their first round since the half switch. Yeah, I think what Shane was thinking about there, he says, oh, I got the smoke, but if I throw it, they're going to know I'm here and I won't have any visibility and I might die anyway. So he tries to fight it out in the Molotov, knowing that he's got a teammate by his side. And if he gets one, great. But if he gets nothing, then he leaves his teammate isolated. And, well, it was the latter. As Timberman fall by the wayside, ATK on their second full-on buy-up, execute to perfection, and only Snav less standing with the op he picked up off the ground after Dare was deleted by Bowden. So he's just going to try and save this on through to the next round, which is important considering the Timberman's economy is pretty much done. And likely drop that for Dare in the follow-up. But I would expect this just going to be an eco for Timberman outside of the op. Could be a force buy, but... 
Either way, TK are going to find their 13th here. They are three away from taking map one here on Vertigo, which again is the Timberman's map pick. Yeah, it's a pretty prime position to be in, despite the run back at the beginning of the half. Oh, they're going for it. They're risking it for the biscuit? Mm hmm They are risking it. Okay. Force buy in. AWP, they're going to build around. Maybe. Wait, is it only one? Okay, there we go. They are going in. They just don't have much to show for it. A one rifle is something. Let's see what they can deliver with an L. John. Second time I've done oh. it. Mike, uh, I'm going to start getting offended here. That's fair and reasonable. <laughs> At least I'm catching it immediate. Yes. It's just like that rhythm of immediately saying those names when you play the same day. It's apparently hard for my brain to reset. Well, it's not hard for Swisher to reset this AK. He gets a couple of frags there. Snap has managed to respond for one. 3v3, even numbers. But look how much pressure oh, on the shame. And kill. he gets Bowden. What a huge frag to find indeed. Swisher might have to deal with things by his lonesome if his teammate goes down. But he managed just to burn Shane. He gets 50 crisp. Peeks around the corner. Finds himself a fourth on for the ace now. And Dare is going to go down. Swisher, all five frags. Ace comes through. 14th secured. Heck of a round from Swisher. Really pulling them out of the fire here. Puts them on for 14. That kill from Shane with the Deagle I thought might have just been enough to hold on. But Swisher had other ideas, other plans in mind. It's been a quieter map by his standards. Yes. That's a heck of a way to explode. Two more needed. This round... Not going to pose a lot of resistance. Timberman trying to prevent map point with pistols and gumption. Good word, gumption. Underused. Well, this round's probably done, Mike. <laughs> 5v3 Looks in favor it. of ATK. Only pistols for Timberman into it. Maybe Shane can get something. He was pretty good the previous round with that pistol, but uh, only connects on to Fady for one, I believe, through the wall. Gets him down to 12, and now ATK are just going to fall off of that. Still have so much time and tons of firepower. the execution on for today there is a flank here oh, that's geez, embarrassing geez. for Fady. that's very embarrassing for Fady. shouldn't really affect the round definitely won't now but uh definitely not one he's gonna put in the highlight reel <laughs> might affect his uh psychological well-being but outside of that they're they're in good shape that's it happens look it happens to the best of us right yeah, you know, sometimes you just get performance anxiety. And uh, right now, the Timbermen might have a bit of it because they've got an eight-round run back to bring us to overtime. Uh, that's what's required of them. They got the rifles up. No head armor on four players. No kits on anybody. No op available. It's not great. Let's see what they can do to try and battle. The last hurrah. They're going Ooh. aggressive with it. They've got some deep control in towards mid and good damage on the Mistim as well. This point, and the player secure in the ladder room. The droid actually not content to stick around. This could be spicy. Flashing over for Dare to Peak, perhaps. Look at MOTM. He's worked his way all the way up onto A, saying there's really light resistance here, guys. He's trying to kill an Intra. He won't. Intra catches him off guard. No one was close enough to capitalize on all that space that he built. Mistim's been lost through the mid-push as well. This is looking good for the Timberman. I mean, perhaps to at least stay in this match, but no, Swisher finds Dare. That makes it a 4v3 and a lot more viable for ATK. Swisher's just going to charge up full four up towards the B side, and the engagement with a couple of players. Flashbangs toss on forward. He can't do anything with it. Bowden's going to only get one, and he gets dropped. Now it's all up to Fadian. No longer snap the 2k, and the Timbermen do indeed hang on to pick up an eighth, Mike. One more kill would have been really nice there. 
one more kill would have been very punishing to the economy of Timberman, but surviving with three, hanging on, uh, means that they get a real chance to fight this back. Again, a lot is required of them. A lot is required of them. But, at least they get a chance to do it. Can they execute? They've got the rifle now, they've got the AWP, rather. All the guns. Heck, they got the head armor now, John. They're living a life of luxury, and Swish is living a life of death. I guess that's really living no life at all. Yeah. Swisher down for the count, but there's a lot of presence here up the A ramp for ATK. Timbermen do have three players playing very deep here, so they won't have much information nor visibility until ATK actually decide to go for their XQ. Very passive, and there's the result. Bowden peeks around the corner, gets there with a headshot from the AWP, and now Intra and Snap. Both have to tuck in and likely set themselves up for a retake because the smoke's going to fly on through and Fady helps ATK's cause, finds Droid towards mid as ATK go for their full-on execute here. Intro's going to try for a boost on top here in the corner and he will go down to Bode and Snap does manage to find a response. 3v2, the bomb is denied. Yes, the bomb plant, excuse me. That's huge. That's massive. The HE that Snap has as well. Oh, if he could find the all. Well, he won't anymore. He won't be finding no. anything in this round. It's all going to be about change. Three players to find. He's swinging on out. The trades are there. The players are close. And Fady will put this one away. Put it to rest. That's going to be ATK moving up 1-0 in this series. Taking the map win. Snatching away the map pick of the Timberman. What did you see there on Vertigo, John? Um, the same thing we'd seen from the Timbermen the last three times they've been here. A very tough struggle uh, on their T side. Then CT side, a little more disciplined, perhaps too disciplined, a little too passive, um, especially in that last round with those three players.